great. So, the ritual of the pentagram is something for spiritual as learning the alphabet and the basic of mathematics in school. Although most of us in the school of life don't anymore use any of that knowledge that we learn in school, right? Wrong. We use it, but we are not aware of it because our mind and mind setup uh, now are using automatically and very fast something that we automatically learn as a kids. Uh, it is my advice for all people who are in occult world to start to work practically as soon as possible. Not because you don't have time. Uh, quite the contrary. For any serious experience, you don't need time. You need conviction that you need time. But as the attainment comes, you will realize that it was already there. Paradox of learning and doing in magic is something that you will get along during the trip. My job is not to teach you how to perform. Rather, I will show you how I'm doing. So, like in art school, maybe I will push you emotionally and um, in, in a mental way that you find out your own way. Everything that I'm doing and I'm, I'm speaking is maybe 90% of my personal practice. Maybe 10% it's from the books and everything, but I must admit you that everything that I'm doing now, I never learned from books. I simply start after months and years and years of repetition, I start to adopt and change things. And you will see how this behavior is crucial in uh, doing the ritual. Almost at the beginning, I want you to, to make distinguish and difference between two things group work and individual work. Unfortunately, our lives, no matter how much technical things help us, not to waste time on growing food and growing money and everything, unfortunately, we make, um, I don't know, pressure of time. So paradoxically, yes, we have a lot of free time, but we are not using it for things we need and love. Uh, the same is for ritual. People in my life and my perspective, I am 20 years uh, membership of regular Masonic Lodge. Templar Society and all other group society more or less connected with spiritual work or maybe occult. But you will see that waste majority of them going there thinking that group work will somehow replace individual. And people will pay billions of dollars to go somewhere to be on some workshop, to buy very expensive book, hard cover with leather a paper, but they are not ready to invest one percentage of that time or money when it comes to individual work. They have energy to put a whole day web webinar as you, but if I told you that tomorrow you need to do this five minutes alone, you will say, no, no, that is too much for me. 
you must understand that group work is like cake after the main dish. It is the sweetest part, but if you not eat the main food, no matter how good cake is, you will still feel hunger. You need to have main dish. And main dish in spiritual is your personal work. Group work serves just to give you a push, to give you a good atmosphere, motivation to work individually. And in group work to see other energies and other way of doing so you can do it and change it at home but without home working the group working is simply will not be able to be there to do any true attainment i'm just speaking not to think that watching me will be sufficient to you you need to try it you need to try it not only once twice but like practice any difficult things like piano or sport you need to have a lots of failures so you can maybe experience success the difference between adept and um, the people who are starting to to do is that the adept fail more time than the beginner uh, have successes. But adept learn from failures, not for one failure, but many. Uh, if you are doing spiritual work and you are happy, then you are not doing something good. Uh, this is the main objective about spirituality when i read students reports and talk to them everything was perfect until they start to doing professional why very simple when you talk to some strangers or friends who are not close to you you are always smiling but when you go home talking with your family you are upsetting for very small things and you are having fights about something totally irrelevant why you don't have fight with occasional friends or strange from the streets because your level of, of expectation it's not setting high because you know that stranger come stranger leave and you will not put anything about your energy and expectation in that happening but when you have something in your life which is important, then you are always arise your expectation and professional demanding. If spiritual, if something that the reason that you are here now during the weekend show that the occult is the very important part of your life, or to be precise, it is a real part of your life everything else is secondary how much higher and high expectation you will have for that the moment you start to work your mind will give you failures dissatisfaction feeling that you're not doing regular which is good if you have happiness and joy which adept have later, then it will show that you don't give a fuck about occult. The occult will, will be like stranger on a street. You will see, oh, whether it's perfect, although you hate that weather, but you want to say that to stranger. Everything will be in pink, green, yellow color, and everything will be fine. We don't want that. We don't want weekend occult life in your year we want all time we want to expectation to be on the highest possible level why because this is something that you want you like 
and you love. And when you have something in your life that it is everything for you, as it is occult life for me, you will never be satisfied. That's the point. You will never feel that it's enough. Great work. It's never work. It's working. It is, it is a grammar who will never be finished. Because if it is finished, it will be limit, limited. And if you have something for limitation in your life, it will not be so much important. Why I'm speaking all this in practical, totally practical webinar? Because I'm professor and I always like to speak about something else. That is my fault and that is my profession. But the first part of webinar, it's right on its leg. Because I want you to question your true motive about what you're doing, what you're wanting from a ritual of the pentagram. Uh, the core essence and the name itself, usually it's four letters like LBRP. I don't know spelling in English, so LBRP, I, don't, I think it is. It's Lesser Banishment Ritual of the Pentagram. First of all, the banishment. Why it is banishment? Because we want to make um, a perfect atmosphere in our temple and we want to banish all evil forces from temple. No, you cannot banish any evil forces from temple. Maybe you think that you need to banish evil forces from yourself. And pentagram will not be able to do so. Although it will build a projection, illusion, idea that you are doing something about it. Think how much forces in the universe for billions and billions of years molecules, atoms, uh, connections, neuronical in your brain. And as soon as you think that you need to banish, then from one ritual, you will be able to put aside of all this molecule, which are part of cause and consequence of the billions of billions of years. Maybe this evil things that you need to banish is the main reason why you are here. So you want to banish something which is in fact the main reason why you are doing something good. Maybe by this doing you will do harm. You want to banish evil influence. What about going to your work in, on the Monday and telling all people who are evil on your work, fuck you. Just draw a pentagram and see how things will change. Ask your boss about rising the salary, yeah? Usually you need money. So people start to invoke gods and say to demons, I need money, give me money because I am the Lord of your universe, but you are somehow unable to ask your boys, boss to give you more salary. Which way it's harder? Of course, the second one. So don't think that banishing, an idea of banishing, has any real value in the universe itself. Try to reverse. Try to understand you as the main evil in your life. We are completely unable to see evil in our 
in our own selfhood. Whatever we do, we are convinced, even if we are know that we are doing something which is bad, somehow we will find a, a reason, an explanation why we are doing. But when we are seeing the same evil in the neighbor, we will say, ah, oh, he's so evil, there is no excuse. No excuse why he did that. Try to find in yourself what it needs to banish. Your evil deeds, convictions, beliefs, projections. Maybe the occult life in your work is the one who need to be banished because usually it is excuse for you not to ask your boss about raising the salary. You will be completely unable to ask this one question which lasts maybe two or three seconds. But still you will be able to do months and years of concentration and uh, investing imagination in visualization that you are getting the money on a salary, that you are getting the money on a street, that your, I don't know, some uncle will leave you a testament and you see what I'm speaking? You need to change that. And the ritual of pentagram, instead of like some cleaning uh, things we, that you can buy on a street, it will become a ritual of light. All ritual in the world, from Goetia, Lemageton, Abramelin operation, ritual of the pentagram, ritual of the hexagram, planetary, elementary invocations, evocation, they all have the same letters and words, but in a different way. Like in music, all music has perfectly same notes, but combination of notes and pause makes what we are calling the good song or bad song. It is not at all about the words that you are using, because when you learn one ritual, you will know all. Only if you are know what you are doing inside of the ritual. Inside of the ritual is the real place of change that you need to meet. So you can banish, you can invoke, but not by ritual, by will and intention. The ritual, it is something like the clothes or mask or hat when you go outside and no matter how much you try to be nice when you meet woman maybe she will fall on that on the first few seconds but as soon as you start to speak and when you go occasionally somewhere when you start to mix energy with her she will know you much better and this is something which I want to teach you during the webinar. What is this inside? What is really going on when you are doing the ritual? And more, what is not happening, in fact, that you think it is happening? What is the ritual and what is not the ritual? Do you know the difference? So eventually, whatever you do, especially when you are doing with sigil magic, which is something quite different than this logical way which we will talk during this webinar, will eventually change life and change the universe according to your will. You will see that asking your boss for higher salary, it's no different ritual than 
banishment ritual of the pentagram. The core and the, the, the essence are the same. You need to be a good movie director to know when to turn the light, to put the good music. So the people in cinema will be frightened from horror movies. But if you put some silly music, try to put some Queen or ABBA music or Led Zeppelin when Michael Myers killing, you will be very, very happy. Only this little changing in the background will totally destroy horror movie and instead of fear, you will uh, start to feel laughing and pleasure. The same in the ritual. You need to learn when and what to put in this little body. So that little body will help you with your, what we are calling intention. So never, never have intention in a ritual to clean. You want to clean, get up early in the morning, wash yourself, wash your, um, uh, your, your, your room, open the doors, open the windows, and in half of the hour you will feel 100 times better energy. Not because you did that, but because you want to do that and then you did that. You have intention and you did something for it. In that moment you did the cleaning. Not the moment that you, in fact, opened the door. Quite earlier, when you realize that you need to move yourself toward that goal. The ritual of pentagram, it's in fact ending the moment you start to speak the first word. It is totally reversed time, but your mind and physical body need vector way of speaking so by the end of the ritual you will say mm, I felt the good energy no no the good energy was right at the start but your mind just need conviction that the more you are doing the greater energy will be no the level of energy is the same the beginning and the end but your perception of energy is one which will give you illusion that the moment you start to perceiving, the energy starts from that mo moment. No matter how much, in my place, now it's 11 and 30, it is almost midday. In exact right moment, Maybe in your place now it's evening or maybe early in the morning because you're on the other side of the planet. The same it's in the ritual because you are limited by one point of space and time. You are not realizing that for the ritual you don't need the words but will. The words are just consequence like thunder and lightning. Eyes see lightning and ears hear thunder. Both will meet and say, ah, oh, what I experience. And they start to chat and together they will realize it is two different things. No, it is one. But the hearing and um, Thunder is always late because the sound is slower than the light. The ritual of pentagram is a ritual of the light and the looks itself. And it will always be faster than the mind who will hear it as a thunder saying, Oh, this is happening. I didn't do that. No, you did. But very, very uh, earlier. So your reaction time is slower. The ritual, it's a will, not the word. It is like mixing 
foreplay with intercourse. Sometimes foreplay it's enough, but intercourse is something that we want without you being horny and you know the feeling of I want to fuck there will be no interplay nor intercourse so the light is horny feeling in you once you are horny it's totally irrelevant how you will charge it is by will so don't think that just performing a ritual will give you consequence. A ritual is consequence of the will itself. Don't ever mix these things. I want to just speak about uh, something which is uh, the basic in magic, which unfortunately most people who are, who are beginners or even intermediates somehow forget and usually I am professional pianist uh, and professor of music no matter how much I try to in my students and my pupils to build a habit of practice and working I always seeing when I ask them to play I always seem same mistake and the more they have years in practice the more abstract and silly mistake they are doing. So I'm doing the same mistake always in magic because deep inside me, I'm just small little child who are the same child as you. My experience only serve me to show me higher things that you just think that is far from you and in the essence, in the day, you and me are totally the same. Don't expect for more experienced people. When you see him or see her, you will see the same neurotical behavior. People say, but he's doing magic all life. Why he is not rich? Why he is not healthy? <laughs> But I will ask you, you are rich and you are healthy. How you are not doing magic properly? Don't expect. And this is child in you who is somehow feeling shame or hate because someone is better to put a stamp on his head. Okay, he's a good magician, but he don't have money or he's a good magician, but he don't have a girlfriend. He cannot use magic to create his girlfriend to come to be with him. He can invoke elementals and gods, but he cannot invoke girlfriend. There is something wrong. Never do that. You will see even in the life of the highest adepts, a holes and paradoxes in our personal life. And there is only one thing which is the same in all of us. We are mortals and we are unperfect. And we cannot be perfect in all things. What we can be to be perfect in one thing which will trigger our great work. You cannot be good in drinking coffee and playing piano and going to ski and to be good fucker and whatever. Choose only one and nobody tell about which one you choose. This is magic. Choose only one. Only one. Oneness and unity is the name of yoga, the highest attainment. When your mind become what it thinks. When you concentrate on one thing, that one thing will start to disappear. One of the condition of Samadhi and enlightenment, which is of course another story. For about the ritual of pentagram, I will not talk about the difference because there is a billions of way how you can um, 
project force, how you can draw a pentagram. I will show everything. Uh, rather, I will show something which is much more important, and that is way how you can do the whole ritual, the way how you can use your vibration. The most important part, not of the ritual of the pentagram, but mostly of every ritual, because if you don't know how to vibrate formulas, it is like when you don't know how to spell some um, uh, letters, your language will be totally, totally without any way of pronouncing properly things, and people will not be able to understand what you're speaking. The same in magic. If you cannot learn how to vibrate properly, the forces of nature will not be moved. And it is like going to cinema and watching a movie without music. It will be boring. And in the end, you will drop off and leave the cinema with a bad feeling. We don't want that. We want good feeling after the ritual. Because good feeling after the ritual and initial will in the beginning is everything that you are need. You don't need to need the ritual itself. When you finish ritual, where is that ritual? In your memory. Great. How that you can remember some other ritual? What is the difference? What is the difference of any ritual when you are finishing and you are knowing that something is good? You don't need, need ritual itself. You need the realization that you finish it. And you will see in the lucid dream and astral projection, you only need to remember the last time you did it successfully. And instantly your mind will create a universe when you, you did that a few seconds ago. The real magic is to learn how to have fake memory, to remember something which never happened. Your mind will never be able to realize what kind of memory it's true, fake or real. Because the memory itself is in a part of a brain which is different than imagination that you, that you want to imagine that you are rich, that you have a long dick, that you are pretty, that you have a nice wife, whatever. Your mind knows it is not true. And this is a different, totally different region of a mind of a selfhood, but when you remember the last time you have a good fuck as a teenager, instantly you start to get different amusement because you know it happened. The different part of hormones will start to arouse. You start to remembering. Visualization and imagination, it's not the same thing. I will learn that, learn you that later, because never ever in your life you need visualization for anything. It will lower success in a way that you will destroy the ritual completely. When I say to you, try to visualize God Shiva or a red triangle or yellow circle, or blue circle, whatever, you will say, oh, I cannot put my mind, uh, they are distorting, uh, after a few seconds I lose that object and it changed to something. I don't have a good visualization. <laughs> but few hours ago, you have a dream and everything in that dream was real. You saw pictures. How can you not be able to visualize something? This is the birthright of your mind. It is not that I, I don't know how to visualize. No, I am, not be, I am not able to turn on the part of mind which is able 
to do visualization on itself. You know, when you are having a good girl and when you want to have sexy time, sometimes from all wanting to be perfect, you lose erection. The, the more you want to have sex, the penis is not working well. And when you finish everything, you go home and you just start to think about some woman, you get erection instantly. What happened? You totally mix the part of and the particles of your being. You switch on the light switch in a different room and you expecting to see light in the kitchen and you turn on the switch in the bathroom. This is what happened. You are switching the wrong switch. Imagination and visualization, it's not the same thing. You can visualize house, dog, cat, but you need to imagine making love with woman. You see the difference? When you are imagining and start to sexually arouge, it is quite more easy to do visualization about that woman. But how you cannot do that with the stupid red triangle? It is the same picture. No, it is not the same picture. Visualized picture and imagination, it's not the same thing. When you are uh, listening the song on the radio, sometimes the song on other language will be nice song. Either that you cannot understand what they are speaking, you will like the song because you are not listening the meaning of song, you are listening the music. The same difference is here. You are not using visualization as a power, but imagination as a behavior of mind. And I will learn, uh, learn you and show you how to do that in the best way. It is essentially when you are trying to put an experience which is called astral projection, when you are transferring your consciousness with open eyes to some other parts and trying to see from another part of a room. When you are doing with classical visualization, you will lose years and years and years never to be able to achieve it. But when you change the way using imagination, not visualization, then something starts to change. And you will be surprised how changing the way of that practice can give you a full result even in few days. To return to ritual of the pentagram. When you are drawing the ritual, you will start to draw and I will show you everything later. This is just theory. You will start to draw the ritual on the four parts of your circle. Circle. Do you need circle for what? To, I don't know, to stop the forces of the universe to attack you? But what about these forces five minutes ago before that circle? The same forces cannot attack you? You see, the moment you put idea of attacking in your mind, you will think idea as banishment war, fight. You know that game, politica, politician and politics people in your country do that. They invest problem and they say, hey, I have solution. And you will say, this is the right guy for me. I will vote for you. But without him, the problem was not there at all. The same is the magic. The moment you want something to be banished, that moment you create something for banishment. But if you start to think that this circle is not as cage 
or fortress, but as a vortex of love. You don't need enemy to, to kill. You need enemy to shake hands and to say, can we have peace? The essence of all wars, no matter how good you are, everybody will lose. When you have two armies, one army are, have more deceased soldiers and the other army have lesser dead people. Both army lose. But kings proclaim victory. Don't do that. Always try to win a war without having a fight at all. In magic, approach to everything that scares you. You have some problem in a universe. Do you really think that banishment of that problem or putting under the carpet will fix everything? Maybe putting under the carpet and banishment itself is the cause of problem. Maybe you need to learn how to approach people and speak from the joy and happiness. Maybe you are the one. The people create banishment as idea in first place. Maybe your evil deeds construct billion years ago when you re re reincarnate as an evil man, somebody put the ritual of pentagram so it can protect that person from you. You never realize or think about your own evil deeds. We need to be banished. So don't think about circle. Circle, it's always circle. It's perfect. Don't try to draw a circle. Because if you are dra drawing a circle around you, you will stay in a much limited place than you need to be in your ritual. In your ritual, you need to be liberated, to be free, to be free and good with all. You don't need to have one room and to live by your own and to jerk all people around saying, oh, fuck you, I'm infinitely powerful. You cannot fuck me. I will fuck you. No, no, no. You need to open the curtains and open the doors and open the windows and to say to your neighbors, come to my tea. Come, I have coffee for you. And you will see how life is wonderful how magic is wonderful when you start to open things there is a very how to say um, strong habit especially in a golden dawn when people when especially in a visions when they are attracted to um, uh, gods and demons and angels and archangels they are drawing a pentagram so they can see if this being is true or false if that being possess some evil deeds toward you it will disappear because the power of pentagram is much stronger than that being but if God or angel is good then it will stay what is good? Watch CNN and watch Russian news and you will see the both of them speaking about goodness and both are miserable negatives in a world killing all people. All negatives in this world speaking about their goodness. Never realizing that they are who are doing all the evil. So why the God that you want to invoke is good? Because it is good to you. <laughs> no, it is either good or either bad. And when you see mythology, you will see that usually God 
are doing horrible things. Eating children, fucking animals, fucking young boys. But oh, they are gods. They can do that. It is good because they are gods. Try to question your own way of goodness, moral and ethics inside the magic. Are you brave enough not to draw a pentagram before demon? Because you invoke him. <laughs> you wanted to speak with him. And now you're saying, no, no, I don't want to speak with you. What do you want? It is like you want to have perfect emotional life. You pray to God and you ask your friends, oh, do you have some girls who are free? I, I, I can maybe meet her. And once you meet girl, you start to behave violently, start to sedu seduce her, to ask silly questions, to be jealous. So, the same, completely same mechanism in this way. You invoke God. Now you, you change. The moment you invoke intelligence, it is here for you. Not to turn head aside, but to speak, to see why it is there. Try, this is my way. Try to forget banishment. Never say banishment ritual of pentagram. Say ritual of the pentagram. The ritual of the pentagram. I never learned English the or, or, or without. Uh, I think it is the ritual of the pentagram. So, question your own deeds. And later when we are doing a real magic and when we are, I will show you the practical way. This way of thinking will be the good basement uh, for rising the roofs. Without good basement, your magic will be like learning to play piano without learning how, learning the notes. You can play something, one, two composition and that's it. I want you to learn notes, to learn how to properly play piano and then you will learn notes on your own because you can open the book and start to play. Without that, you will not be a good musician. The magician is not the one who are doing the ritual to be nice, but to be proper. Understanding the mechanism of reality, it's the basic need and essence for doing the ritual. Without that, the ritual, it's like acting. Give ritual of the pentagram to some good actor. Will he do a good magic? He will do perfectly everything with a good voice, even vibration, even vibration, because they are knowing uh, how to sing and using the lungs and the uh, throats and uh, even the head for, um, for the sound, because they know and they have breathing exercise how to use the whole body for good speaking. But are they a good magician if you give them the ritual of the pentagram of the paper and say, please perform for me this ritual? No, they need something else. This is what I want to share with you. Something else, which is inside you. The ritual, it's a puppet. It's a puppet of that something else inside of you. And once you get that something else, the ritual itself will be sufficient. It will be just a part of a scenery. Good coat, good soup, music, good atmosphere, nothing more. Because will itself, the moment you start to perform that ritual, the storm moved and come. And once eclipse started, there is nothing. 
which will stop night coming to the universe. This is exactly what you want. To push and then to observe and to enjoy. Without enjoyment after the ritual or even during, there will be no purpose of magic at all. Imagining that you are watching a movie which is not good for you. Imagine that you are watching five times in a row good movie. It will be totally stupid. It will be boring. Although the movie is good. But you will lose this sense in stomach which will say, oh, I want that. Can you meet a girl that you are not attracted? Can you eat food which is disgusting? No. You need to find enjoyment in things that the, it's uh, filling your life. The same with the ritual. You need to find enjoyment. And how you can do that with the things that we will build. Uh, I think now it's uh, our past from the beginning. Maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes break and we will come to more practical things. Th there is a lot of things that I want to show you. Unfortunately, the microphone and the, the camera will not show you everything. I hope that you will, that you are hearing me well. Sometimes in the future we can have a live a live workshop when hearing me and seeing me is much different than seeing me and hearing me from video and from monitor. I will hope that you will have a um, sense what I'm doing. I will start to using a different camera. So I think that yes, you can, you can see me well and hear me. 10 minutes break and we will return for practical uh, issues and practical tips. Bye. Thanks, thanks.